All right, so the next drill that we do, uh, we have our bound side to side, but now we're gonna add a little bit of footwork in. So we're doing a lateral run with a change of direction in it. So again, I'm gonna use time as opposed to reps. And the reason why I like to use time as opposed to rep is because I can watch my athlete and see when they're fresh and tell, okay, I, you can push, we'll go 15 seconds this time. And so when they're going, I know that they're fresh. I know they're getting pushed to the limit at 15 seconds. If it's not, we can go 20 seconds. If not, we can go 30 seconds. If I go seven reps, eight reps, nine reps, then the athlete knows how many reps they're doing and they tend to slow down with the last you know, two or three reps or so. So we're really getting five good reps out of eight. So if we go 15 seconds, I'm gonna get 10 seconds worth of good work. If we go 20 seconds, I'm gonna get 15 seconds worth of good work at least. So these are the, the lateral runs with the change of direction. So go ahead. Good. Okay, stop just for a second. Okay, and I'm gonna point something out. And this is just running mechanics, but whenever they do these drills, we need to make sure that their mechanics get corrected also. Go ahead and come to the middle just for a second. So raise your right knee up like you're running. So when her right knee comes up, this is the arm that should be up. If you noticed before when she was doing that, she kind of had that deal going on like a marionette. So make sure that when you run, this knee comes up, that arm comes up. Let's try it again. <laughs> okay, coordinate it. That's better. Better. Good. 